One nude snapshot. One button. With police say making up a culture of sex, camera phones, and blackmail that's criminalizing a generation of young people. And they know how to hide it. Sorry, I didn't know it. It's not just trouble. It's something every decision you make today has an effect. Scandal surfaced recently in the Cleveland County School District where Stephanie Livingston sends her daughter. Several sixth graders at Burns Middle School face felony child pornography charges after deputies say they sent text messages containing a classmate's sexual video. She told me, she says, Mom, it really is worse than what adults think of it. Holy crap. I see this almost every day in my class. A McAfee study shows 70% of young people hide it. We uncovered two ways they can. Looks like a calculator. Right. This app passes the test, but a password unmasks to import your first photo. A private photo gallery. So unless you're looking for it and you know what you're looking for, you won't find it. Some of these apps with names like Keep Safe Photo Vault make it obvious to a parent that a child could be hiding something, and that child might readily hand over the password that reveals innocent photos. But this app has a second hidden layer where a child can hide inappropriate photos. Once you find out something like this, you have to take action. You have to educate yourself. Because if your child sends that photo and they're under 18, Assistant Special Agent Alan Flora says, by law, that's sending child pornography. He says North Carolina Carolina's State Bureau of Investigations works these felony cases daily. What we're discovering is that children are self-exploiting. You know, they're producing the images. They're sharing the images amongst themselves. So, in a sense, you know, they're victimizing themselves. In the Cleveland County case, deputies say the Burns Middle School sixth graders were pressuring their classmate for more sexual images. It's not just there. Three months before that, police began investigating a Charlotte Mecklenburg middle schooler after uncovering 75 nude photos posted online of girls across the district. Have that conversation with the kids to make sure they understand you could be charged legally. Clarissa was in middle school the first time a boy asked her for a nude photo. She's a senior now. I felt like, you know, it's either I do it and um, it could get leaked out or and if he gets mad at me or whatever, or I don't do it and he never talks to me again, and that's fine. I'd rather lose somebody than be put under the spotlight. But Clarissa says many of her classmates crack under the threat of blackmail. A parent's defense? Technology experts say you can search for double apps on your child's phone, like the calculator. You don't normally use two. To spot a downloaded app, press and hold the icon. The phone will let you delete the one that didn't come standard, the one that could hide explicit material. This is not petty and it's not small. And if it's not a fear, it's because they're not educated. Parents could have to dig to find the one photo that could change a child's life forever. Courtney Francisco, WCCB News.